Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to switch layouts quickly in Reaper. Now, layouts are how Reaper looks, either in the track control panel, in the mixer, even the transport. But we could change that on the fly. But the one problem with it is it's a bit slow and clunky. For example, let's say in the track control panel, we wanted to change it to be all meters. We go up here to the options menu, go down here to layouts, track control panel, and switch it right here to small full meter. And that gives a bigger meter on our track control panel. So we can see our audio more obviously on the meters. If we want to switch it back, we go back here to the options, down to layouts, down to track control panel, and put it back to large, or whatever you prefer. And the same with the mixer. If we want to change the layout of this mixer, go to the options menu, go to layouts, this time go to the mixer panel, and change it here to the meters, which looks like this. Or we could change it to one of my favorites when I'm dealing with big projects is the strip right here, which looks like this. We have faders and some nice meters. But like I said, switching back and forth is a bit clunky. We could also do this in screen sets. If we go to the view menu, go down here to screen sets, go to the layouts tab right here, and we could switch that here. The track control panel, we could switch it to full meter, or anything we want. Or well, for the mixer, from the strip back to the session mixer, or full meters. Now that's a little bit quicker. Let's put this back to the session mixer, but there's still a quicker way. And that's down over here with these actions. Now, as you know, in Reaper, we can use keystrokes to perform actions. So we could put things on these actions here, assign keystrokes to them, and trigger those actions very quickly. But one of my favorite ways for this purpose is using toolbars. Let's go to action one, go to the track control panel, then go over here using my arrow down key and switch this to large. Then we go to the next action, do the same thing, track control panel, but we'll switch this one to the full meter. Now we can use these actions to quickly change our layouts. And we can see the shortcuts right here. Just click this, it goes to the action menu where we can see the layouts. I don't have any keystrokes assigned to it, but we can put them right here. Or we could just open this, hit enter, and switch layouts just like that. Let's set up a few more. Let's go to action three. Let's set this one up to our mixer panel. We'll set this to the session mixer which is what we see here. We'll use the next one to be full meter. And number five will be that strip. So again, we could switch it real easily using these actions for the meters, the strip, or back to the session mixer. But we could set these up to be toolbar buttons. But before we do that, let's add one other option. If we go down here to six through 10, we can use the same favorites that I chose up here, but just for selected tracks. For six, we'll do the same thing, but we'll go to selected track panel and still make it large right here. And for the next one, selected track panel, we'll make the meter. Now let's do the mixer ones for selected mixer tracks. For the session mixer, for the meter, and finally, action number 10 will be for the strip. 
So now these actions up here, one through five, control the track control panel for these two and the mixer. These ones do the same layouts, but just for selected tracks. So if we want different layouts for each track, we can do it from here. So now let's go to the toolbars. Let's right click up here, open toolbar, and let's open one that we're not using. Let's use toolbar five, and we can see this one's empty. Now, if you know about toolbars, we could put them in many different places. Let's right click. We could put it at the main toolbar, at the top of the main window, floating like this, or in the toolbar docker. Let's leave it floating for now. Let's edit it so we can change our layouts a lot quicker. Click this button here. Let's remove this one. We don't need it. And then let's add all those actions we just created. In the filter, we'll type layout. And here's those custom layouts and their actions. And let's select those first 10. Now I'm going to select them in the opposite order. You'll see why in a bit. We'll start with number 10. Select it. Then go up with the arrows to 9, 8, and so on. Select and close it. Now you can see they're in the correct order. If we did them the other way around, it would start at 10 and go down. But you can always reorder them right here. So now if we save it, we have a toolbar that looks like this, with all these buttons that will perform those actions. But let's name them so we can see what they do. Let's double click them, choose text icon to name them. Remember this first one is the large track control panel. Then the next one is the full meter. Then this one is for the mixer, the session mixer, the full meter, and finally, the strip. And if you remember, these ones are duplicates of these, just on selected tracks. So let's name them the same way. Now they're all named. If we save it, it's going to look like this or this. We can see the names, but to make this clearer, let's add some separators. Let's go right here, right click, insert a separator. Let's add another one right here, and another one right here. Just so we could separate the track control panel from the mixer and the selected tracks. So now we could save it, close it, we have a toolbar right here. It's floating, so we can move it around, put it where we want. But basically, now that we have this, if we want to switch our track control panel from large to full meter, just hit the button back to large with our mixer from the session mixer to the full meter to the strip back to the session mixer back to the track control panel full meter large and now we can choose the selected tracks so if i select just these two go over here and switch it from large to full meter and just these two tracks have a full meter the other tracks are all still large. We do the same thing with our mixer. Select the first two or any of them. Let's select the odd tracks. Let's switch those from the session mixer to full meter. And just those switch to full meter. Or the strip or back to session mixer or the full meter. So we could change each one by track a lot quicker using toolbars. Or you can use keystrokes if you prefer. And we can name this toolbar right here, name it Layouts. And anytime we need it, if it's not open, just right click, open toolbar, and it's right here. So we can switch all our layouts very quickly from large, full meter, session mixer, full meter, and strip. And again, these are just the ones I chose. This is going to work with any layout that you prefer. And if you're not using the default theme like I am, you're going to have different layouts to work with. But either way, it's still a lot quicker to do it from here.
So that's pretty much it. That's switching layouts quickly in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!